Alrighty guys, what is going up? Welcome back to the best investing channel on YouTube. I am your host Carter and in today's video we are going to be looking at Palantir. Why I am buying more Palantir. Now right now this company in my opinion is extremely undervalued with it trading for $20 uh, per share. That is you know, over $25 off its highs. Not to mention, guys, you never want to buy a stock when it's up at highs. You want to make sure that that sucker sold off a little bit so you're pretty much buying it on a discount. You know, that's where I think a lot of misconception is, especially in the investing world, is people have so much emotion up in these highs. You know, they have FOMO, they have greed, hope, everything you could possibly think of. But when something sells off, People almost turn their heads from it because it's not getting talked about a lot. It's almost, you know, extremely undervalued and it's just not the most talked about stock. But when it's all the way up in here, you know, people have everything, you know, stocks are up, you know, people are making money and everything. So right now, I think that this is very undervalued. But yes, right now we are still on a short term downward trend, but a long term upward trend, which is good because as a long-term investor, I completely understand that Palantir carries a lot of risk because it does. It is definitely more risky than a company like Apple, Microsoft, Amazon. And with that risk comes uh, reward. Same with the volatility. This thing goes up and down at pretty rapid rates. You guys can see it went up to $45 within you know a month or so, if not a couple of weeks. This thing was back down to $24 then 20 a couple weeks later. So I think that you have to understand that this is a more volatile growth stock, guys. But looking at Palantir's uh, fundamentals, you guys can see why I like this so much. So Palantir reports revenue growth of 47% and expects uh, Q1 of 2021 to have revenue growth of around 45%, which is fantastic. That's awesome. So breaking down the summary for uh, a lot of 2020, you guys can see uh, it was up around 47% year over year for the revenue. Revenue was around 1.1 billion. They, um, uh, for the Q4, they made around 322 million, and that was about 40% year over year. They secured a variety of new contracts as, as well as a lot of renewals. You know, they had a $300 million deal, um, they had a, I believe it was $60 million deal with the Army, a $90 million deal with the Air Force, the FDA, the um, NHA, NHS, you know, a lot of other things. And they expect uh, Q1 of 2020 to, or 2021 to have revenue growth of 45%, which is, it's fantastic. That's it. That is, that is awesome. So me, I always think, well, who else is buying, you know, Palantir? Because I never want to be the only one buying it. And yes, Kathy Wood, the known investor, just picked up around three thirty-nine million dollars worth of shares, which is so many. That is a lot of shares to put in her ETF. So her her ETF is ARC, and ARC is one of the more popular um etfs out there it has very strong growth you know it's one of the more popular uh etfs especially lately but she just picked up more so if you guys want to pretty much have a, a solid portfolio i always look at the people who are doing it better and kathy wood is doing it better so i think that one given the sell-off okay this brings a lot of opportunity two given that one of one of the most popular investors out there is picking up shares. Three, right now, a uh, Palantir is you know their their one of their goals is to actually have a profit margin of around twenty three percent. So that would be extremely high. That's a profit margin very similar to Apple. Apple is twenty two percent. So that means every time Palantir brings in a hundred dollars, they profit uh twenty three dollars which would be fantastic that would be a very strong rate for the company to grow but overall this is just a no-brainer investment but you always have to understand that this company does carry a risk it does so me i think that if you're going to do a one lump sum investment wait for it to fall down to 16 but if you want to do dollar cost averaging so you don't have to time it I would recommend starting now, you know, put put in a little more than you would normally do for a monthly payout or a weekly payout because 
given that this the sucker has sold off more than 50 percent in value brings a lot of opportunity guys so that's kind of my overall thought process palantir does carry a lot of risk a lot of reward they're working with a lot of um awesome companies right now uh they have really strong numbers for 2021 and i think that this is just going to be a no-brainer investment to look back you know in two to five years and realize wow I wish I would have bought more Palantir at $20 a share. So I hope you guys enjoy it. And overall, I hope you guys got something of value. And we will see you later, guys. Remember to stay happy, guys. Stay positive and stay safe out there. Take care.